Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to talk about this guy here that I built and the reason I have the SPC Maker 95 GF here is I'm going to title this video something like how to make your own SPC Maker 95 GF or DIY SPC Maker, something like that. And that's because the goal of the video was to make something that performs similar or pretty much close to the SPC Maker 95 GF. I, I like the way this thing flies and the way it performs and basically the frame and the camera, all pretty much everything. Still my favorite right now. Uh, but I wanted to take something that I already had and, well, I'll explain what, why I say that, and then make something that's similar to this. Or, or, or if you want to, you can make something that's exactly like this, or pretty close to this, if you get the same frame. So the frame over here, the one in the green here, is the Lantian 90L frame. I think it's about $15. You can also buy the SPC 95 uh, GF frame as well. I believe it's similarly priced around the same range, somewhere in like the 13 to 17 range, somewhere in there. So they're comparable. But I didn't want to build an exact clone. I just wanted something a little bit different. So I'm using this frame here and these 3D parts and stuff I'll talk about a little bit later in the video. This, this guy here is very similarly spec to this guy here, the SBC Maker. So I'm just I'll just go over quickly what this comes with in case uh, you guys didn't watch the previous video. It's got 1104 7500KV motors, it's got a 10, uh, 10 amp 4 in 1 BLL SEAC, an Omnibus F3 flight controller with Betaflight OSD, and it's got a uh, 25 and 200 milliwatt switchable video transmitter, and, it's, and it has the uh, Runcam Micro. So this is what I like, and it's running the the gym fan uh, four bladed twenty thirty five props. So it's, this is a pretty much my optimal setup right now. Obviously, you want to run an XT thirty here because we're running three S in this guy for uh, for maximum speed. And then this guy here, very similarly spec, and it's got the same ten amp four in one EC uh, Beal Heli S, and it's got the Betaflight uh, Omnibus F three with the Betaflight OSD on there, run cam micro. Uh, these have the DYS 1104 7500 kb motors, and you see there are <laughs> they're labeled Aurora RC. And the reason the reason that they're labeled that way is these guts or these parts came from the AR Fun 95. So if, um, if you guys remember that video, I had I got the AR Fun 95. It's a flew very similarly to the AR Fun 90. It's just that it could do two inch props instead of 1.9 inch props. Uh, but that one came with a uh, bad camera, so I ended up uh, not really using that those parts until now, and so I put the uh, power stack in here and motors, and what else? And yeah, that's it. I basically did a power. This basically took the flight controller, the ESCs, and the motors from that uh, quad and put them into this frame. I added the Runcam uh, Micro and uh, this. Uh, Frame does not normally run the run cam micro. I got these 3D parts uh, from Thingiverse, so it's a run cam micro uh, little TPU printed uh, camera pod, and then I got some motor bumpers here, and I just have them. I'm just using them as uh, soft mounts as well. I think they can go either the other, on the bottom or the top. I decided to put them on the top and then use them as soft mounts uh, because the the motors on here are soft mounted as well, and I kind of need that for the vibration that's produced on 3S. And then the, uh, the little mount here is a little bit too tall, uh, so I had to put some spacers here in the back because these these are the standoffs that were included uh, on the frame and they weren't tall enough, so uh, you can either have it slope back, which I didn't like, or put these little spacers in here as well. I'll put links to all of these uh, Thingiverse parts in the description if you buy this frame. And if you happen to have a AR Fun 90 or AR Fun 95, you can then swap those parts into this frame and add your own Runcam Micro, and then you can uh, basically have something similar to the SPC Maker 95 GF. So the video transmitter I'm using is the uh, VTX 03. It's a 25 and 200 milliwatt uh, switchable power switchable video transmitter, and it's had the antenna coming out of the top here. Okay, so comparing the weight of these two, let's just uh, I'll just show you that they're pretty similar. So the uh, SPC Maker comes in at about 72 grams, and then this this one here, the Lanty 90L, comes in at 72.7. So this one's a little bit heavier. 
So performance-wise, uh, this guy is actually uh, just a little bit uh, less performance than the SBC Maker. And I think it has to do with the frame and the motors. I think that's the difference here. And I think it'll look better. You'll see it better here on the profile. The arms on the SBC Maker are a little bit skinnier and they're a little bit wider on the Lantian frame. So I think that uh, contributes to a little bit more drag and maybe slows it down a little bit. And I, I have also a feeling that the Sunny Sky motors here are producing a little bit more power than the DOAS motors. So, you know, you've got pretty much a similar setup, you know, same kind of ESCs, but the motors are different, the frame's different, and that, I can tell, uh, makes this one just a little bit slower. So, uh, I, I would say that if you do happen to have a uh, AR Fun 90 or 95 with these motors and ESCs and flight controller, and want to have a similar experience, I would get the SPC Maker 95 GF frame. But then again, while you're you have the, the frame with the skinnier arms, the you know the motors are still going to be the DOS motors. I think the DOS motors have just a little bit less power than the Sunny Sky motors. So obviously, from a cost perspective, once you've added the Run Cam Microsoft and the video the uh, VTX03, you're probably you know in a similar range to just buying something like this uh, fully built. Uh, I think it's about 200 bucks for this. So um, obviously, it's not going to be cost effective if you buy all the parts individually in the frame and then try and duplicate this when it's already built and it's got all the same components. Uh, I would only do that if you want to add better components to this, better motors or better ESC, something like that. Then you can buy the frame and then put some better parts in there. However, if you already have an AR Fund 90 or AR Fund 95 or some other micro that has like 1104 7500K motors plus 10 amp uh, 401 ESC, similar flight controller, then you can take those guts and put it into this frame or a, you know, SVC Maker 95 frame, something similar, and then add the Runcam MicroSwift plus the VTX03. Um, obviously, in that case, it's just adding the cost of those and then your time to build it to basically get something of similar performance. Not, in that case, I would definitely go for the SBC Maker 95 frame and add your electronics to that. Um, obviously, at that point, you may want to consider upgrading the DOS motors, but then, you know, again, that's more cost. At the same time, whatever whenever, whatever power cube you use or wherever it comes from, you definitely want to switch it to an XT30 to match what you got on the SBC Maker. Uh, if you have a JST, you're just limiting your performance unnecessarily. Okay, so if you guys are wondering about uh, this TPU camera mount for the SBC Maker, it's a 40 degree mount. It's a little bit bigger than the 30 degree mount that I had in the previous video, that one that was red. This one I printed in purple. Uh, this mount is not available yet and uh, it's not on Thingiverse and I don't have a link to it. But if you check back on this video later, I'll, I'll probably have it. I just don't know when that's going to come out. So I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about this. You're just going to have to wait. Sorry. Anyway, I'm going to end the video with some FPV footage from this guy, the Lantern 90 l modified with the Micro Swift and all the components on here. So, you know, let me know in the comments below what you think of the performance of that based on just looking at the video, although it's gonna be pretty hard to tell just from looking at the video, how it compares to the SBC Maker 95 GF. Um, I am running Betaflight 3.2 on this guy here. I haven't up upgraded this one yet, but I will be very soon. So I think I'm running stock PIDs. Actually, I don't, I don't remember. I'll put a, um, little screen capture here of the PIDs from this guy on the screen here because I don't remember what PIDs I have on here. It's been a while since I flew this. So I'll put that on the screen and then I'll leave you with the FPV footage. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.